Hello everyone and welcome to a very very short video. I'm afraid that's it. Thank you and goodbye. Motive mentioned that their balls are laser scan sanded. That means, presumably, that they laser scan them before they package them and before they sell them. But how we, the consumer, can know if it's actually so? Of course, we can't know. Not unless we have a laser scanner, which is extremely rare. I happen to have a laser scanner, but I never had a motive ball. I wanted to try them though, so with the magic of YouTube and uh, channels like Motive Lou, Hi Lou. Uh, I decided on a couple of them and here they are. And because both of these balls do not have uh, from the factory any compound or polish as their fun and finish, uh, I am in the position right now to be able to verify if uh, what Motive claims uh, holds up. Disclaimer though, no one's perfect. I don't know how they go about doing this and how strict they are about it. So maybe if you do not have the finish that's, uh, that's written on the label. Since they advertise it strongly though, I assume that uh, when they scan the balls and uh, one of them is not close to what their finish uh, needs to be, they resurface it and rescan it and then they package it. But I don't know if they actually do that in that way or in that sequence. Uh, or how careful they are about it. And of course, my sample size is, is very small, just two bowling balls. So that means that uh, if these are not correct, it doesn't mean that any other motive ball is not correct, and vice versa, of course. So take this as just an indication, not uh, proof. It's not a study, and I'm not allowed to bash motive or anything. What balls did I get? The Forge Flare And as you see it's 2000 grit And The Desert Tank Which is also 2000 grit Keep in mind, in this test we are testing the accuracy of the average grid of the final surface and how uniformly the ball is, has been prepared. For this reason, I will scan each ball on four areas, kind of like what we do when we sand the bowling ball with the spinner. So we will get four different average grid numbers. Then we will average the four average grid numbers and get a final value and see how close it is to the box finish. Everybody got that? Good! I haven't scanned this before filming, so this is the first uh, time they will be scanned and I will be witnessing the results together with you. With you, yeah. No, not you. Yeah, you. So, let's begin, shall we? One cut, one take video. Whatever goes wrong, goes wrong. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Motive has the most sophisticated boxes, I'll say that. I don't know why, but I like the smell of bowling balls. 
Very nice. Beautiful ball. Both of them. Okay. So I will be scanning, as I said, in four areas, and I'm going to do the logo, the model of the ball, the uh, the serial number, and the pin. Just so we have four different areas. Okay. First scan with the motive, with motive logo up. Okay, now let me show you, this is 2,229, so that's very close to the 2,000 that is on the box. So far so good. Uh, serial number up. And here we are a little bit higher, but not too much, around 2,500. And now let's go with the pinup. Okay, that's consistent. 2500 again. And what's left? The logo of the model up. Oops, that was a glitch. We need to rescan it. Okay, again, we didn't get a good scan. Let's try it again. Seems to be around 2000, but. I want to get a full scan of the ball. Okay. This part is 2000. So it was, that was pretty nice. That was pretty consistent. We got a 2000, a 2200, and a couple of 2500s. So it's very close to, to 2000. Not exactly 2000, not laser scan precision 2000, but it's pretty close. Now let's check the desert tank. Motive up. Ooh, this one's, this one's a little bit off, that's 3,200, but let's see if it averages out, uh, serial number up. No, 
we are consistent, but we are we are higher than the 2000s, 3100. And now we're going to go logo of the model up. And then we got pin up. That's very impressive as far as consistency goes, 3100, but it's not very close to the 2000 that's supposed to be. And now pin up. The laser scanner scans about 40,000 times around the ball so it's very accurate and this is again 3000 so that's a, this is a very uniformly prepared ball uh, but um, it's a little bit higher uh, the grid is a little bit higher than the 2000 supposed to be all right interesting results all right now we've got two different situations here. The fourth flare was very close to averaging the what says what says on the box, which is 2000, uh, because it has it uh, had a 2000 uh, uh, average, a 2200, and a couple of 24 to 2500s. I think this all averages up around 2300. I think. Uh, so I will put the calculations somewhere here or over here so you can so you can see it uh, which means that this was pretty uniformly pre well not very uniformly prepared actually but it was very close to the 2000 of the of what the box says so that's good uh, not, you're not going to see very you're not going to see much of a difference uh, on the lane if the ball is 2000 or 2500. So good job for the Ford's Flare and very good job for the Desert Tank because it was even more uniformly prepared, actually much more uniformly prepared. Uh, it had uh, almost identical grit on all sides, 3000, but unfortunately it should be 2000. So interesting. And what does all this mean? What can we conclude? We can't conclude much because maybe I was unlucky and got two motive bone bolts that uh, just uh, happened to be a little bit off. What we can conclude though is that some bowling balls, even though they have laser scan sanded on them, can be as much, at least as much as 1000 away from what it says on the box. And that is applicable only to dull balls, so no compound, no polish. Those balls with compound and polish are usually all of them 5,000 or more, so it doesn't matter. Well, that was it for today. Uh, I hope uh, bowling alley is open up here soon so I can uh, drill these and try them out. And uh, I'm going to leave my bowling stats below so you can uh, comment on uh, how you you think I should drill them. If you enjoyed this video and like these kinds of experiments, please uh, consider sharing, uh, liking, subscribing or helping uh, via Patreon. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.